We all know how much Ashley loves to crochet everything from temperature scarves to shorts. She's done it all. But when it comes to making your own clothes out of yarn, have you ever wondered how to attach a zipper to your crocheted piece? That was something I found myself pondering a few years ago. And while there is more than one way to go about it, I'm showing you my favorite way to add a zipper. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. So what we have here mm -hmm. are a few zippers. Um, this was in my mind, perhaps I'm making a little pouch right. that I want to zipper on. So you're okay. making some kind of a bag, some kind right. of purse. And so the thing you want to do, in my opinion, is find the zipper size first. Oh, that's so a good you, idea. you know how so big you want to make it. You start with the zipper. I start with the zipper. Not the actual right. bag. Okay. Unless you want to kind of have to find a zipper to fit. But, but you're going to want to match it too? I want it, yeah, I want it, I mean, I want it to be the right size. Sure. Okay, now you can start, which we've done here, directly on the zipper and then just keep going. However, I crocheted a little, like, kind of a swatch out here. Yeah. Because here's the thing. You're going to have to use a really small hook with the zipper to start, and then you're gonna to want to switch to your normal size hook. Got it. And so in order to see what the spacing is going to look like, you kind of need an example. Oh. So then sure. I can look at my zipper here and I could even I could even use a pencil, for example, to evenly mark stitch, 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 stitch. That's a really good point. Because you want you you're going to be it's going to be easy to get them too close together by accident mm -hmm. because you have to use a really small hook to get it started. Yeah. So you kind of want to look at that. it and kind of know, okay, here, it's not going to be, that's how far apart it's going to need to be. Yes, um, because now when you start it on the zipper like this one's mm -hmm. doing, it's, it's possible it's going to change after um, the next couple of rows. Right. Uh, I assume it'll still work, it'll still it, it, You can get out. it evened out, but like okay. here, okay. So now, oh, good to know. What you're gonna do is take mm -hmm. one of these tiny little hooks. This tiny, tiny one, I've never used those before. And it, it doesn't have to be specific size, but it needs to be kind of sharp and small like this because you're going to actually poke it through the zipper. Oh. And you know, if you were to take this mm -hmm. regular hook. Yeah, that wouldn't work. That's, you can't poke that through the zipper. No. <laughs> no, you cannot. Okay, so yours is started, but here's oh, how okay. you're gonna get it started. Sure. I have my hook and I'm going to take it and I'm just going to push it through the zipper. Okay. Goes right through. Yeah. Right. Then I have a slip knot already on this piece of yarn. Yeah. I'm gonna pull it around my hook. Now this is where you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't get tight with it. Because oh. if you get too tight, it's never, it's not gonna, it's gonna be hard to even it out later yeah. when you switch. Okay. Yep. So I'm just gonna pull it right through that hole that I made. Oh, okay. Okay. So I have my little slip knot here pulled through. Okay. I gotta get it all the way though. And then, just like regular crocheting, I'm going to take the yarn from behind, mm -hmm. pull it over around my hook, and then pull it through. And that's the first one. So you can do okay. it's almost like a regular one. Just a regular okay. and then so now you you're gonna want it to be even too. And this is where I guess, you know, honestly marking it out with a pencil is probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to if I see where I have my yep. how far I want it to be, yep. I'm just gonna go then into right from the top again, trying yep. to stay even, right through. I'm gonna grab back. my yarn from behind and pull it through the hole. Now, do you want this yarn to do you want this yarn to match the zipper or does it I matter? don't because <laughs> I want I'm doing kind of I want to do like a stripe pouch of fun bright colors. Oh, okay. okay. And also I want you to be able to see it. But you sure. you could match it if you want to. And now I'm gonna pull through both of the loops. Okay, just like you're actually I'm crocheting. Just, yeah, now. actually crocheting. And then I'm gonna go into the next, just take my hook here and I'm going to push it right in and I'm going to grab the yarn. Let me try this yep. too. And um, and so you're saying that you just go right through the yep. hole here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and I'm using okay. a knit here which does make it a little bit um, challenging. Now another thing you could do is if you wanted to mark your stitches out on this based uh -huh. on your little sample, mm -hmm. you could before you even start crocheting, take your hook and poke each of the holes. Yeah, and I just make it sort of that. like easy, like right yeah. from the start. You can see that it's even. It makes it, you know, not very hard. But I, sure. I don't find this to be challenging to the point where I needed to really do that. How is it going for you? Good, actually. Um, you kind of start to get a rhythm, just like you would with any kind of crochet project, regular right? Regular crochet, and. Um, and you do loop it just like regular crochet. Yep, and uh, so you're gonna keep going okay. all the way across. And this is gonna make your bag more secure. I mean, where do you get the zippers though? 
Oh, well, I got this bag of zippers. This is the one and only thing I've ever purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. I got a whole bag of <laughs> zippers. So um, go to you. Go, go to you if you need zippers. Yeah, but you know, you can get them at any kind of craft store or sewing, yeah. sewing place. Yeah. Um, Take them out of the pants you don't want anymore, and I'm just kidding. Is there, a, <laughs> is there a certain zipper that you're looking for, a certain kind of sturdiness, a certain kind of anything? Just no, whatever I, you it, want. Anything for you want, whatever you're like, you know, just as you would pick out for any kind of sewing project. Sure. You're going to keep going along that way. And then yeah. yours is going pretty far, so let's take a look at yours. Okay. So let's, let's, say, let's say that we were all the way to the, to the end, right? Sure. So then you're going to turn just like any normal thing. But this is where you're going to drop that really small hook, oh. and you're going to pick up your regular hook. So and if I were going to turn to go back, then now it's just going to be, I'm going to do one chain here to go back. Okay. And then just as I would normally, I'm going to go through the two top holes. Got it. And I'm going to pull it through. I have two loops. Pull it through. Yep. And I'm just going to, this is like a, just a single crochet going all the way back. That and works well. this is where you will find that you can just keep going until and you that, have the... And that bigger one gets through the holes fine, right? They're, they're not too now, small. Now, yep, yeah, you, you want to stay loose so that it can do that, but you're just going to do your whole bag like that. Now, the other thing is, once you are done and you want to hook it to the other side, mm -hmm. so if this is a whole bag, you want to go all the way to the other side, you, know, you have your holes and you need to do at least one kind of foundation row there. Yeah. And then you can take the other side of it and just crochet it together right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the other thing that's, I think, really interesting about this particular, if you're doing like a pouch or something, mm -hmm. is once I've crocheted all of this here to this side, and the zipper's up, top side of the zipper. Yeah. That's important to know, okay? But I also could then, if I wanted to, flip it over, and I've got where I have this zipper, it's the perfect place to sew in a lining if you wanted a lining. Because oh. oftentimes it's kind of hard to line a crocheted project sure. where you sew it, but the zipper... Just like you would line anything is the perfect way to do it. Perfect. All right. Well, We're in find. business. Thank you.